In the previous lecture, you learned the relationships between solid principles in general and Yagni principle. In this lecture, you'll see a concrete example of solid versus Yagni in the form of OCP versus Yagni. Let's get back to the classic form of OCP violation we analyzed in the OCP section. We have the find device method here, which implements a switch case statement inside. Switch case statement is a construction of a procedural programming in nature. Does this method violate the OCP? From the perspective of the Myers OCP definition, OCP is not violated here since adding new device model doesn't lead to any changes in the signature of the find device method. But we're mostly interested in the Martin's definition in modern days, and from Martin's point of view the OCP is clearly violated. To fix the problem in the OCP section we introduced an abstract base class and several inheritors which represented the device's models. So, we introduced several new types instead of initial one. Yagni at the same time means that we don't need to introduce any abstractions until we really need them. So what to do in this situation? Which principle should we adhere? OCP or Yagni? A colleague of mine, Vladimir Horikov, gives a great answer to this question. His answer is, it depends. It depends on what we talked about previously, whether we are talking about public API or not. The answer is different in these cases. So, in the case of a private API, Yagni is more important than OCP. If we own the code base entirely and develop it within a private group of people, we shouldn't introduce any abstractions until we see the third repetitive code chunk is going to appear. Then we need to apply OCP to prevent excessive code duplication. In the case of public API, we need to sacrifice Yagni and apply OCP immediately because the future costs on refactoring towards the object-oriented design will be enormous, we will introduce breaking changes. Clients do not like breaking changes. So in this case OCP is more important than Yagni. In the next lecture we are going to clarify the difference between SRP and ISP.